Sonia is, this is my daughter, Sonia. It's, it's to be expected that she would pick up the preferences and the biases of our culture. So she's exposed to cultural norms and she has every right, as anyone does, by the way. You know, I was teasing you, Mira, but people want to do what keeps them safe. Now, the big irony here is that our attachment to beef and pork and the lifestyle like driving these cars that goes along with that, that is the big threat that, against us. But most people are going to be more terrified of insects. People think insects, they're going to think these brown marmorated stink bugs, which are an agricultural hazard, but they're not a household hazard, even though they congregate in houses in the winter. They're also an invasive that's quite edible. And I've been trying to secure a good supply of them. I'll offer a market price. So yeah, you can certainly hear the, the insects. Huh? Yeah. So everything you're hearing pretty much are orthoptera, which are grasshoppers, katydids, and crickets. And so there's, oh, I don't know, three or four or five species of grasshoppers and katydids that I get here. I also get dragonflies. They might break your bones, but the nine millimeter it will bore your dome. I'm talking about the toe jagging, huh? The body bagging, man, niggas are dying, huh? Mamas are crying, cats get buying, who me dying, leave my family crying. Hell no, I cause them blood bath with showers. Send me commissary, mother, fuck the flowers. Thoughts of order, I believe in my daughters. Hours and hours of fears running through my mind as I pick up the signal. There we go. Good. All right. And it's one of these females. There's the ovipositor. So let's get that one. <laughs> I'm expending a lot more energy than, than, the, than the energy I'm getting back. However, different kinds of insects will aggregate, will congregate on their own, or you can convince them to do that through a light trap. Plus, there are a bunch of insects, including some edible kinds, that have chemical attractants. So if you simply put the right scent out, they will congregate to the scent automatically. You could spend two hours uh, doing that, and you'd have enough food for 20 people. As with any food, if you want a reliable supply and where you know what you're eating, then you've got to farm it. But farming insects, and I should be doing it myself, I'm not. But farming insects is the simplest way to provide protein for yourself or your family. So it's sort of a self-sufficiency thing comes in. Uh, crickets, mealworms can be farmed in fish tanks, in your basement, in your spare room, in your closet. They don't require the light. They don't require much attention. They don't require a lot of feed. They don't require a lot of time or expertise or machinery or any of those things. So yeah, you could be in a city apartment and supplying, I don't know, 60, 70% of your own protein needs very, very easily. Uh, so that's the way to get enough food, insect-based food, to feed the city of Providence, for example. So I've actually been finally making progress with uh, standardizing my bags. So, but the funny thing is, I was an extremely finicky oh eater God, as a child. Oh, what's that one? Ah, well, these are these are eaten in uh, Papua New Guinea, but they're also raised as pets. These are a species of walking stick. So, what I like to do is, I have a, I have a rubber lobster upstairs. And when I, when I do the stuff for the kids, what I like to say is, uh, we're going to pretend this is a large grasshopper, even though it works as a walking stick. And I have the, the big lobster, right? So I say, okay, let's pretend we're at a restaurant, a fancy restaurant with no menus. There's no menus in this restaurant. And the waiter says, well, sir, well, madam, in this hand, I have a creature with many legs and a hard shell that eats uh, flowers and leaves. And you look at it and you go, oh my God, Flowers and leaves. Look at that thing with the shell and the many legs. That's disgusting. Take it away. It's disgusting. You're gross. Oh, wait, but wait, what's in your other hand? Well, in this hand, I have something with many legs and a hard shell that eats feces and trash and dead things. And you go, oh, I want that one. Oh, yes. So do you not eat lobster and crab? I love lobster and crab. <laughs> because I don't have any problem with eating something. 
That's the, basically the cockroach of the sea. Because if I'll eat the cockroach of the land, why not of the ocean? And you know what? I'll be honest with you. Most insects do not taste better than lobster, as far as I'm concerned. A couple of them taste as good, or just different. Most, I mean, lobster is pretty freaking amazing. Would you agree? I would agree. All right. With the shove, then ends with the shuffle. A nigga standing on your corner reminiscing of you, but your ass is out and you're dead and gone. So who'd you rather be? The murder or the murder bro? Niggas got me stressed. I grab my tech and my vest, then I sing, who job bless? Let no man curse. You're doing quite a quantity of these. Oh, ah, you're right. You're, are you gonna? <laughs> I'm probably. <Okay. laughs> right, right. I shouldn't give you too much credit. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming you're going to eat some of these too. Of course. You like them. Yeah. And I may, I may like them too. Uh-huh. I'll get more try. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You know what? You can try one. I think a pinch. I've got five or six here. Mm. Remember, there's nothing else. There's nothing else in the pan. There are many times when I've had these and I go, oh, I I'll give me a whole bowl. Well, popcorn's not like a snack. No. Oh. I, I recognize that entomophagy is not the kind of thing that's going to get a lot of widespread adoption until we desperately need it. Unfortunately, by that point, <laughs> the amount of chaos and uh, civil upheaval is going to probably be really ugly. Insects represent a whole bunch of solutions to problems that we create. So in a way, we have to go towards insects sooner or later. Which means that I get to be right eventually. Uh, insects inevitably show up in the house, uh, just about anyone's. and. I'm reasonably likely to eat the insects that I have in the house, uh, that show up in the house, unless they're cockroaches. And that's not really a bias against cockroaches. I've had three different species of cockroach. One of them is kind of tasty. One of them is wretchedly, disgustingly bad. And uh, one of them is okay, not great. But ants in the house, those I'll eat. Hornets or yellow jackets in the house, those I will capture and release. Spiders I just leave alone. Spiders I like the idea of living with them because, look, they're colleagues. <laughs>